What up y'all, this is your boy Justice Rose, okay? And today, I'm not showing my receipt at the Walmart door, okay? You're not getting me, I'm saying no thank you, okay? Here on Rose Gang TV. <laughs> Subscribe to the Rose Gang, Rose Gang TV. No, thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you go about not showing your receipt on Walmart. You say no thank you and you keep on going. If you guys heard me say no thank you, and that's the way you keep on going. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video here on Rose Gang TV. Yes, sir. So if you notice, guys, we said no thank you. Okay? That's exactly what you have to do. That's just, that's, that's, it's that simple. Okay? People, you know, they know. All right? Always also, guys, remember to, to, uh, to click it. Because you don't want to get a ticket. Okay, guys? All right? So, Rose Gang, that's the way you get it, man. That's the way you get down, man. When you go to Walmart and you're not, you know, you don't have to show your receipt. That's just exactly how it is. That is, that is facts. Okay? That's what you call facts. All right? All right? Now, remember, it is against your rights because that's against purchasing rights. Once you have purchased something, it is your property now. Okay? All right, so excuse me as I'm driving right now and not, you know, looking at the camera so much. But remember, okay, in every Walmart, they're doing this. They're stopping people and they're they're causing these long security stop checkpoint lines. I mean, I don't understand what the hell is going on. All right, but that is the security uh, uh, checkpoint that you do not have to stop for. Okay, remember that even if there was a police officer, okay, at the front of that door, and he says, sir, can I see your receipt? Okay, you're going to say, I don't have to show you my receipt. You know why? Because in even in loss prevention laws, like when you receive and, you, you know, when you, when you decide to get a job as, uh, as a loss prevention officer for a retail store, okay, um, that's right. Your boy Justice Rose has worked in almost all of that. I've worked in security, okay, for several years of my life, all right? All right, and guess what? Okay, as a security officer, you are there to observe and report. People think that you can jump on a person and all that other stuff. You can't do none of that stuff, all right? That's number one. As a loss prevention officer, you have the right to just tell a person, excuse me, hi. Stop for a second. I need to speak with you, okay? But you... Um, it's because, you know, the team, let's just say you have a team in loss prevention and, and, and inside you saw that person, okay, the camera caught you passing through every point that you could have paid, okay? And if you did not stop for that, uh, uh, let's just say that cashier, you pass by one cashier, you pass by a second, you pass by a third, and now you're right by the door. And you know, you want to keep on going. That's the only reason and the only way, okay, that you can get stopped by a loss prevention officer. It's one of those guys who work in the store and they're acting like if they're a shopper, okay? And it's more like a, it's almost like a mystery shopper themselves, okay? Now their job, okay, is to stop you and recover the merchandise, okay? If they saw you steal something though, because if, um, you know, you haven't stolen anything, and that person, that loss prevention officer stops you guys, guess what, guys? You have a civil lawsuit on your hands, all right? Which is the greatest thing. I mean, you'll get a nice fat paycheck, okay, and sue their company for doing something that they're not supposed to be doing and, and are trained for. They, they, they take a course 
to become loss prevention officers, okay? Now, um, people at Walmart are greeters, okay? Now, they got these, these, these people that I feel so bad for that are at the door and they're telling them, check the people's receipts when, guess what? That's breaking the law. The only way, like I said, even if a police officer happens to be at that, at that door and he says, can I see your receipt? All right. It is your right. Okay. Your right. All right. To tell that police officer, first of all, what is your badge number? Okay. And what is your name? All right. That's number one. Number two, are you suspecting me of a crime? If you are not suspecting me of a crime, then you cannot detain me, okay? Meaning that if you don't have no proof of anything that you're stopping me for, then that is an illegal detainment. You cannot stop, a police officer just can't stop you neither because he just decided to stop you. It doesn't work like that. Or ask you for your identification. You also have the right to say, no, I don't have to show you ID because if you look at the laws, all right, the laws are when you are okay in suspicion uh if you are suspicious or are uh you know it's a quick breakdown the way i the way that i'm saying it in my words is if you're seen as a suspicious person doing something or they suspect you of a crime or of committing a crime that's when they have the right to ask you for your identification so guys with that being said, guys, that was a quick lesson upon the law. If you notice, Justice Rose did not show the receipt. I didn't cause a scene. I walked in, walked out with my merchandise. The girl asked me, hi, have you checked your receipt? Can I check your receipt? And I said, no, thank you, and kept on walking. And what did she say? Okay, have a great day. And that's the way that you guys gotta handle it, okay? And if it turns into anything worse, all right, remember that you are looking at a civil lawsuit and should get paid for that civil lawsuit of being detained for uh, illegal um, detainment, okay? You can't be detained for no reason. People just can't stop you, okay? Not even if they're a security officer, okay? If a security officer is there, remember, He's there to observe and report. If the greeter is at the door, she's there to greet you to welcome to Walmart and to tell you, have a great day, because that's actually her job, okay? And that's what I call standing up for your rights, guys, okay? No matter who it is, remember that you have rights, all right? We are the people. We the people have to stand up for we the people, okay? So remember that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, all right? And once again, Rose Gang, if you have not, okay, subscribe, all right, and become part of the Rose Gang family. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and bang, 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 bang up that post notifications button up there. So that way you guys will be the first ones to know when I post a new video, okay? And with that being said, yo, Rose Gang, peace, we out. <laughs>